Hello, this is Gio. Hey, many of you use Comcast or Xfinity for your cable company service provider. And many of you also may have a digital video recorder or DVR connected with your cable box. Now, if you're confused about how to use a digital video recorder, today I will show you some easy tips. Okay, so I went ahead and turned on the TV. I put it on mute so it won't. Uh, disturb us and I want to focus in on this remote. Now this is an XR11 Xfinity remote. If you have a different type of remote this tutorial might help you out a bit but again this is primarily for the XR11 Xfinity remote. It looks like this. Okay so I want to focus right now on two buttons on this remote. You see many many buttons. Um, I want to focus on on this red one here and this Xfinity button here. We also uh, will we'll discuss this little keypad here which has a right, left, up and down button and an OK button in the middle just like that. Okay so I want to focus on this red little button here first. So this is, this red dot means record. And right now I'm watching uh, an old episode of MASH and if I was interested in recording this program from where we're at now on, all I would need to do would be pro uh, to push this little red button. And so let's go ahead and do that. Um, went to a commercial right now, but if I was interested in MASH, I would just hit um, this little red button here, and you'll see a little menu after I press that. Now, um, because Comcast Xfinity knows what's programmed in terms of the different programs in its schedule and beyond it has already identified that I am watching MASH and then you have two options underneath it says it's, these are basically questions just this episode it's asking you do you want to just record this episode and then there's another option all episodes so if you want to just record this episode that's playing now uh, you would just hit the OK button in this little keypad here, just the center, and you'd hit OK. But if you wanted to uh, record this episode, the re re remaining parts of this episode, and all future episodes, you would hit the right arrow here to switch the menu to all episodes, and then the OK button. Uh, but we'll cover that in just a sec. Right now, I just want to record this episode only. So I went ahead and moved it to the left, it's selected, I hit OK, and then you see a little menu say, your recording is set, MASH, and it says today, 3.55 to 4.01. Now, uh, really there's only a few minutes left on this MASH program, um, and you're only recording from what, if, if you're watching the show now, you can only record from when you started recording to the end. It won't give you the entire program. Now, future recordings, if you did all recordings, it would start from the beginning, and we'll cover that in a minute. So I get a lot of questions. Hey, Geo, well, I just recorded something, but um, and, the, and the program got recorded. I think it's recorded, but I really don't know. How do you see if it was recorded, and how do you actually uh, view your recording? Well, that's where this Xfinity button comes in. So it's... MASH is still recording as we speak, but if I hit this Xfinity button, a new menu will appear in your screen. So we'll go ahead and do that next. And you see a menu just like this. Now, uh, there's several options, there's guides, saved, on demand, search, apps, etc. And you could select from those. Right now it's on the saved option, but you could select based on this little keypad. You can go right or left. If you go left, you could select Guide, or you could select uh, Saved, On Demand, etc. What we're interested in is Saved. So I hit the Xfinity button, brings up this menu, I select Save. And I, so I hit the OK button to select Saved. And here you have another menu. And here is For You Recording Scheduled Favorites. And right now it's on recording. If it wasn't on recording, I'd move the keypad right or left to select recordings. And let's just go ahead and do that. So right now I switched it to For You. And if I moved it to the right to recording, just in a second, it displays all my recordings. And right up on top is MASH. 
and if you notice on the very right it says recording now so you could actually hit OK on this selection and start viewing the program from uh, from the very start where you hit record all the way through so you don't have to wait um, for the rec for the recording to be over before you start watching your program so that's very important uh, if you're late let's say 15 minutes for a program and you know you're recording it you can just start watching your program from the very beginning you don't have to wait for it to end so it will you know it'll continue to record so um, so if we want to watch it from the beginning of our recording we just hit OK again and then a number of other selections happen there it says watch episodes delete I could delete this recording if I wanted to but if I want to watch it I just hit I just hit OK and then it starts from where we started the recording which was the commercial and if I if I want to go back to the menu, I would just hit the exit button right here, which um, is right above the guide button. So I hit exit, and it brings me back here. It's still recording now, and so all is good. Now, if I've already watched this episode and I want to delete it, well, that's easy enough to do. I just uh, I've selected it. You can go up and down here. I can go down to uh, Days and Confused. Pokemon series, etc., or go back up to the MASH. I select it, hit OK. Brings back the menu. I can move to the right to delete. I hit OK in the middle. And then there, it says delete now or don't delete. It gives you the second option. If I change my mind, I could hit don't delete, but I could hit delete now and go ahead. And there you go. It says your request and now it's no longer on the menu. Now, so we just deleted our MASH episode there, but it's not permanent to delete it. Now, um, if you did, if you deleted it by accident, you can recover it for a time. And how you do that is, again, here's all your programmed select, uh, here's all, here's a list of all the, all the programs you've recorded, and you can just zoom all the way down to the bottom. You can see there's a lot of uh, programs that I've recorded here go all the way down and then you go to recently deleted on the very bottom and if you hit hit OK right here it will list everything that you've recently deleted I have a, a episode of Oroville here I recently deleted etc and you have your mash episode right there now if I if I change my mind and don't want that deleted, I go ahead and select OK. And then it says recover or delete now. If I want to delete it now, I can go ahead and select that. If I want to recover, I go ahead and um, choose recover, hit OK. It's recovered, and if I go all the way up to the top again of my menu. Sorry, I have a lot of stuff recorded here. It should be back up on top and there you go so I'm going to go ahead and delete this again it's asking me do I want to delete it now I hit OK it's deleted and now I'm going to go all the way back down again now if you look are looking on the right uh, upper right side you can see I am 61 percent full the DVR is 61% full and I have 85 programs so depending on what what your um, DVR can hold it can actually hold an awful lot of programs and so recently deleted I hit OK there's the mash this time I want to delete it permanently now a note for you everything in recently deleted category does not um, does not really increase how much your DVR is full for some reason. Now, I've had like 20 up, 20 recently de deleted things, and the percentage for me does not change. So I'm not sure if different DVRs are different. But for me, the uh, recently deleted will eventually delete on its own, but you can also delete it if you would like. And so I selected MASH, I hit uh, OK, recover or delete now. I move it to delete now. I hit OK again. And now it asks you, do you want to permanent delete it or don't delete? You can always change your mind. I want permanent delete, so I hit OK button. 
and then it deletes it and you can see my recently deleted uh, goes to four shows mash is not there and now I cannot recover that mash program so once you hit permanent delete it it's gone okay so now we're back to our mash program and uh, let's just pretend I want to uh, re record not only the rem remainder of this episode but all future episodes so I go ahead and hit um, record button here it gives me uh, just one episode or all episodes so I move to the right I go to all episodes I select that and now another menu appears you can hit confirm or cancel now you can just automatically hit confirm and you're, you're good to go you can hit cancel if you change your mind but there's also some recording options below and if you hit the uh, down button like this you can select this now the first one is record now it says uh, new episodes only if you move to the right it says new and repeat episodes move to the right again and then it says uh, new episodes again so there's really only two choices there so what it's asking you is Comcast Xfinity can recognize most of the time if it's a brand new episode never seen before or if it's a repeat you sometimes see the R or repeat uh, name on some of your programs. Well, Xfinity knows this. So if you hit new episodes only in this option, well, your um, DVR is only going to record the newest episodes that come out, not the repeated episodes. But if you're also interested, now this is MASH, so everything's repeated. They don't have any new episodes. So I would probably select new and repeat since I'm interested in. Um, you know mash which is all repeated so I go ahead and select that and then I could move down the next one is channels now I'm on uh, WGN AM only which is the current channel I'm on you can move it to the right HD uh, preferred so it will basically search every channel for mash and depending it doesn't matter which channel it's on if it identifies MASH, it will record it on HD if it's an HD format. Or you can move it on side, and this is standard definition. Now, uh, MASH is an old program, so maybe a lot of channels are carrying it on standard. So maybe I want to select that one um, because if, or I could just do the, the, the WGN version. Um, so let's go ahead and just do SD version. So that basically will copy all the SD and now you can go down again now saved option is sa you have several options as well you can go saved until space is needed so as you saw I was up to 61 percent on my DVR with 85 programs now if I was like up to 99 percent or 98 percent well new episodes may you know fill my DVR so this basically says it will save it until space is needed and then if space is needed it will delete it so as long as I stay below hundred percent capacity it will still remain there okay I could also move it uh, to the right and it says save for one year so irrespective of uh, how much space I have now I won't continue to record if I have no space but if if there's some programs in my DVR which is program to save until room is needed um, then if I select for one year it'll delete those old other programs before it will delete this one and this one will be kept for one year um, and so those are the two options until space is needed or for one year etc so if you do until space is needed and you never reach the capacity of the 100 percent then this could potentially save for years so uh, but if you select the one year, even if you have space available, it will delete it after a year. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then next selection is keep all episodes is the first one. Next one is only one episode, only two episodes, only three episodes, four episodes, etc. So up to 10, 15, and then it, yeah, apparently it goes up to 25. So basically what it's asking you is if you tend to watch your programs right after they're recorded, then you may want to just uh, say keep one episode at a time. If you don't watch this one, the next time, the second uh, episode that's recorded, 
it'll delete the first. So that's all that's saying. And you can just say keep them all or keep up to 25. So we'll just keep them all for here. Now the last two um, selections are start or stop. Now many of you have probably noticed some programs start early. Sometimes they extend a few minutes after the hour. So um, if you are not 100% sure if your program will start on the scheduled hour or beyond, uh, this, these two selections help you out. So on the start time, you can, uh, it's, it's on time, which is basically on the hour or half hour, or you can go to the right a minute early. So it'll start at, let's say, 3.59. Um, or you can move it to two minutes early or on time. So you can only do two minutes early. So we'll go ahead and just select one minute early. And stop, same thing. You can stop three minutes later, five minutes later, 30 minutes later, or just on time. We'll just end it on time. So this is just the programming. So we're basically, for every episode of MASH that we want to record, it will start one minute early and end on time of the schedule. It'll record all the episodes, keep them for one year, and it'll record all the ST preferred um, and new and repeated. And then you just go to the top and hit confirm. And there you have it. MASH is being recorded. All future uh, MASHs are being recorded. And if you don't delete them after a while, it'll probably fill up your DVR since there's so many MASHs being, being seen. But there you have it. Okay, so we went ahead and recorded our MASH programs and all future episodes. Now, I want to focus again on this Xfinity button. So let's go ahead and hit the Xfinity button to see what we we have saved etc so I go ahead and hit saved hit OK and now again there's this top menu recordings now I could show you you know I have two you know two mashes because the first mash just ended and now it's recording the second mash since, since WB is just showing mashes back to back so um, now if I was interested in knowing everything that I have programmed for the future I could hit up and now you can hit go to schedules and so recordings are just those things that you've already recorded those programs now you might have scheduled other programs that haven't recorded yet and so then you want to move to the right for scheduled programs and as you can see this basically gives you a list of in this case mashes so here's MASH episode, the one that's been recording now. Here's another one that's being recorded now. I think it, that's, um, not sure why there's two of them there. But here's a future one that's going to be uh, in, in half hour. And there's a ton of MASHes that are going to be recorded. And all these, unless you delete them, are going to be recorded and eventually go on your DVR. Here's uh, an episode of Taken that's going to be... And this is all in order. So basically from now on... You can see MASHES is being played all, all over the place, either on the WB or on other channels, and you can see how many MASHES you're going to be recording. Now, maybe this is not the best example, but now we go down to at around 8 o'clock is an Outlander episode. So 8 o'clock today will be an Outlander, and then you can start watching it after 8 o'clock. So this is under the, um, this is under Scheduled. So if you want to see what's recorded again, you would just go to your recordings and then move down and figure it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete my mash since I'm not actually going to watch these. So I go ahead and go over to the X button. I hit delete. Okay, so I could either delete um, the, just the ones that I've recorded already or I could delete the, the episodes I've recorded and cancel all future recordings. And actually, that's what I want to do. I could also just hit don't delete. I've changed my mind. But uh, if I hit delete and cancel upcoming, I hit that. It tells me what it's doing. Gives a second. Now, if I go up on top here and go back to scheduled, it's in recording, go back to scheduled, it loads, and you see all those mashes that were once there are no longer there. And so all those upcoming recordings have been canceled. Okay, so from here I'm just going to hit the exit button um, 
once and then I go back here and I think this is still a mash episode that we're watching here and I, I want to hit I want to hit uh, this time I want to hit guide so if you hit guide and you can see basically the programming that your Xfinity provides so here's the W a GN you can just see it's mash 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 etc now if you go down here let's go to this PBS HD um, you got the woodsmith shop ask this old house and then if you go to the right right here you got this old house and you have a little dot that's right there that little dot means that we have a recording that's scheduled so when that this old house is played it will record that episode now if I go ahead and hit the Xfinity button and the saved and then scheduled like this you can see this old house is scheduled for recording so that one was pre-scheduled and uh, will be recorded at that time I go ahead hit exit now I want to show you something if you cancel a recording what it looks like so if I go ahead and hit guide again and I go to the five o'clock mash like that and then I hit the record button like that one it asks me just this episode I say okay and then a little dot will appear at the five o'clock once this disappears a dot appears at the five o'clock mash okay so if I decide before it's recorded, if I decide I want to cancel that recording, well, you can go to that mash and hit OK. Again, options appear on the bottom, episodes. Now, episodes, that's a whole different thing. If you want to see all the future episodes, you can hit that. Or you can just hit cancel. So if you hit cancel, it's basically going to cancel that mash recording. And so we're going to select that, hit OK, and it says cancel recording or keep recording. It's basically asking you if you want to change your mind or not. So we hit cancel, we hit OK. It canceled it. And now, the little dot kind of disappears, but not fully. Basically, it's a circle with a line in it, basically saying you once had a uh, marked as recording but it, the core recordings has been cancelled now this little symbol is just uh, if you tend to like to record these things it's just telling you that you might have thought it was going to be recorded but it's not actually going to be recorded maybe you have several people in your household that like to record the show and they're searching and then they come across MASH and go hey I thought we were recording that well if if, if one of your family members decides to change their mind they could always go to the MASH again hit OK and then on the bottom there I could hit record and then it is same menu just this episode etc and I'll um, go ahead and do the dot once more and so just to finish this all out again I want I don't want that mash recorded so we're gonna hit cancel we're gonna hit the Xfinity let's do it the uh, the other way we'll hit saved We'll go ahead and hit schedule. So we go to the right, schedule, we hit OK. Or we don't have to hit OK in that case. And then if we go down to the 5 o'clock, you can see the 5 o'clock mash is set. Now I could go ahead and go to the right, to the X, and also cancel it this way. So I hit OK, cancel. It asks me cancel recording, sure. I hit OK and then it's gone and now if I go back and hit exit to, uh, to get back to the TV station I hit guide guide again and there you go you have that circle with a slash so there's a couple of different ways of, of canceling a recording well there you have it I hope this video helped you out uh, good luck on your uh, recordings and enjoy your DVR I'll see you next time bye bye